Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is for the January Bambox Pop Culture Box. Um, I did the horror box just yesterday, got it in time. So if you haven't seen that one and you have interest in seeing that one, go back, watch it. Um, wait till you see this box. The last box was relatively good. I have been having a few issues with U.S. Postal Service recently. So here is my January BAM box. As you can see, I got to give you the right perspective on it. This is super dented. It looks like they just straight up kicked it. Just punted the damn thing. Um, I actually had another package just last week that showed up that looked like someone also had just kicked it. Uh, just dented the side right in, very much like this. So, um, U.S. Postal Service, shame on you. You suck. Uh, you're being really crappy lately, and I don't appreciate that. Anyway, uh, it's been a while. I don't really remember any of the properties for this. If people want to know about why things, why it seems like I haven't done any unboxings for Bambox in a particularly long time, um, or delays, stuff like that, watch my horror unboxing video, at least the beginning, because I do the whole rundown there. So I'm just going to kind of get into this. Um, oh, also, I didn't say anything on the horror one, really, about the, the box design so much. But I'm wondering if this is going to be their design going forward, just having like a larger white box with the kind of stamp of horror or pop culture. Um, it doesn't really matter to me that much, but I would just say my opinion. I don't think it looks that good. So I would think they're probably not sticking with this. I would think this is kind of like an interim thing. Uh, because I know they had said something in one of their um, kind of like printouts that they put in one of the boxes that they were going to be getting a new design. So I assume this is not the design because it's not really a design. So anyway, uh, tissue paper. My cat's milling around here, so she'll be happy for this. One, two, three. Hopefully I don't have anything damaged in here because that would suck. Usually there isn't anything that's like super big like that that getting crushed would damage too much. So, um, so that could be good. Do I have an extra ba -ba! one up? I got a one up for my horror box for January, so that's pretty exciting. That's cool. I like it. All right, first I'm gonna go with this thing. Got something rolled up. Usually not a big fan of when I have these rolled up things. This is this is interesting. Oh man, this is like really. Oops, well here she is. She's already using the tissue paper. You don't need to do that on there. Don't pee on it. She doesn't think about textures. She likes to pee on weird textures sometimes. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is... This is like a big animation cell. Jesus. Is this from... Film... Filmation. Lou Shiner. Shimer. Original hand-painted production cell. Okay. Man, this, this is actually... I'm going to take it out of here just so you can see it. It looks really cool. Look at this. Look at this animation cell. It looks like... Um, Bill Cosby's show, um, was it like his animated show that he had with all the kids who would hang out in the junkyard? I used to watch it, but I just don't even remember what it is. I mean, obviously, Bill Cosby's not a, um, not a good name these days, but uh, back in the day, it was a good show, and he did a good job with it. So this says, I'm sure my little certificate of authenticity says that, it is, do, 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 do. From, oh, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. That's right. How could I forget that? Fat Albert is like a big thing from that. Uh, yeah, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. That's pretty impressive. Um, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. That's cool. Uh, I'm usually not big on these animation cells, but as far as the animation cells go, the fact that this is large is a new thing for Bambox, and how the quality of what that looks like is really nice. I, uh, I dig it. Even though I'm not, like, I may not display it, I don't know. It is cool. Alright, uh, oh, okay. Prop. You know, I'm not huge on the props. So this is obviously Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement, the Logistics Division. If people can't figure out, that is S.H.I.E.L.D. For all you, I'm sorry about the glare. Although the glare's kind of cool if I just kind of, like, pan it up like that. Da -da! By the way, everyone should be getting ready for the two Marvel movies that are coming out, if you're a fan of that stuff. Uh, I really can't believe it's going to be Captain Marvel in March and the second Infinity War in April. And I, from what I've heard, 
the second Infinity War is going to be like three hours? Wasn't the first one like over two? I thought it was like between two and two hours, 15 minutes, and like two and a half. So they just keep upping it, which I'm, I mean, I'm good. It's a long time to sit in a theater, though. I guarantee people are going to have to take bathroom breaks during that. Have to. All right, so here's the pin. Gotta Catch Them All by Brian Romero. I think Romero, Brian Romero's done some before. Oh, <laughs> this is actually really cool. Okay. Um, I'm not a Pokemon fan, really. I did watch a little bit it's a bunch of years ago. I really do like Pikachu. He's super cute. But here's a Deadpool Pikachu. How cool is that? I'm going to get him in there as close as possible. Look at this. That, that is really cool. I wonder if this is the one-up item. I'm going to check to see if it's numbered. That is, no, it's not numbered, so it's not this. That's, <laughs> I like that a lot. So there was a, there was another crossover they had done in the BAM box, pop culture box, um, a bunch of months ago. Hey, Chloe, psst, can you be quiet, please? Play with this. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. So the cro they had done a crossover pin, um, yeah, some months ago in the pop culture box, and it was Simpsons and Daredevil, and it was like Bart in Daredevil costume, uh, and they had like Millhouse and Bullseye and... I think it was Homer in like a Wilson Fisk one, Kingpin, which was really cool. So like these types of things, really cool. I like this. I really dig that pen, actually. Really dig it. Really dig it. Okay, here we go. So the arch print is from the fan art collection. Uh, it is called Ron, and it is by, the artist is Rehab. It just goes by Rehab, so I don't know if they're in Rehab or what. Oh, yeah, okay. This is what I got that was the upgrade. Oh, this is cool. I spit on it. Love this movie. Anchorman. Look at this. Look at this art print. I mean, it looks like a photo, really. That's cool. Yeah, see, my cat's even impressed, if you can hear her yelling in the background. Which she's actually yelling because she wants attention. That's how she is. She's like a child. Anyway, looks great. Now, that's nice. And this is number 128 out of 500, as you can see down there. Autograph the artist there. Seriously, dude. Psst. Shut it. Sorry if that noise was too loud. Um, and then going for the autograph. Here we go. Oh, uh, yep. You know what? Okay, I remember when I saw the properties, and I, I was saying when I was, I was opening the box, I don't remember what the properties were for this, but now that I see what the autograph is, I remember seeing this property on there and being like, I have a feeling the autograph's from that, and if it is, I'm down, and that would be cool. And this is cool. This is a good autograph, and I'm excited about this. So it's for Young Guns, slash Young Guns 2, and it is, oh yes, Lou Diamond Phillips. No friggin' lie, Lou Diamond Phillips. That is pretty sweet. I mean, this may sound stupid, but I think this might be the best BAM box, pop culture box autograph to date. That's just me, for my opinion. Um, I like Lou Diamond Phillips. I haven't seen him in a ton of stuff, but I really liked the Young Guns movies when I was much younger. Um, I still like them now. It's been a while since I've seen them, but I still really like them. Uh, I just think about the cast in that, though. Was it like, uh, um, Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez, Lou Diamond Phillips, Kiefer Sutherland. I know I'm missing at least one other recognizable person in that. Christian Slater, I believe. I mean, come on, man. Young Guns. And one and two were both good. So, yeah. That's... Pretty nice, in my opinion. It's good to see nothing was damaged. No thanks to U.S. Postal Service. So, BAM box, we're all good. Um, there's a bunch of extra stuff written on here, so I'm going to put it up. And if you want to pause on it, you can pause, read it, if you would like. Oh, it starts up here. I'm sorry. It starts there. Okay, let me get it back so you can, there you can see the whole thing. Pause, read it. There you go. I'm not going to go through it. So, they have <clears throat> the one-of-a-kind animation cells from Animation Inc. Archive. That's pretty cool. Here's a few other ones. Um, really? Is that... Is that a Back to the Future cartoon? I'm not quite sure... I, I remember that happening. I now remember that there was an Ewoks cartoon. Am I one of the only people out there who actually likes the Ewok movies? The um, Caravan of Courage and the Battle for Endor? 
I have them on DVD back here. Like, whoop, that's hard. Like, back in here somewhere. That's hard to do. They're back in here somewhere. I have um, I have the Ewoks movies. They came in one DVD package. And actually, I talked <laughs> I talked to Wilford Brimley. I uh, met him a, f- a year or two, two years ago, I think. And he, um, he was in the Battle for Endor. And, God, that guy is such a surly dude. I was telling him how much that, the, like, I know it wasn't, like, a great movie, but that I love that movie so much, and so he kind of, like, meant a lot to me, because I watched that movie a lot when I was a kid, and loved it, and he was in it, and then I was able to meet him, so I was like, I really need you get to get you to sign this picture from Battle for Endor, and he was just kind of like, you must have had a lot of patience as a kid, <laughs> and he's just, like, really salty, surly dude, but, you know, Wilford Brimley, go figure. He was also amazing in um, The Thing. Yeah, John Carpenter's The Thing, the remake. Amazing. Okay, so for their giveaway, they were actually doing a Daredevil poster that was signed by Eldon Henson, the guy who plays Foggy on the Daredevil series, which he does a really good job. He's been in a bunch of stuff, too. Looks like a cool poster. All right, so... Oh, so... Oh, this is cool. Um, So all the pins... I got the normal one with the Deadpool Pikachu, which is really cool. There was like a Venom Charmander uh, out of 200. There were 250 of those, and the 99 that were done, it looks like a Hulk. I don't Is it Bulbasaur? Am I right? I don't see. I don't know um, Pokemon that well, but they look really good. Like these are, these are top notch. Like, yeah, those are good. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. Um,. So the limited, uh, oh, they put the wrong uh, sticker between the two of the limited and the not limited. So as you'll see right here, this is the one that I got, and that's out of 500. This is not out of 500, even though it says so. So that's that just Ron Burgundy one was the normal one, and the one over here that I got was the special one. So really cool. Uh, then they, you know, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. emblem, and then Lou Diamond Phillips signature. Oh man, one of the, wow, that one's really cool. I mean, it's a lot of cool ones, honestly. Look, look, look at all those options you could have had. This one down here, super cool, right? Okay, that's it. Um, cool. So, uh, if just so people know, the theme for their February one is '80s, which I'm all about. That love the '80s, love the music, love the time period. The movies, especially the horror movies that came out of the 80s, were a lot of fun. Not necessarily, like, great movies, although there were a bunch of great ones, but just so many of them, and over the top, and just a good time. That's what it was all about. But overall, this is a good box. Obviously, this autograph is really nice. I really like that. I really like this art print, too. This is going to go on my wall, because that's a great movie. It's a lot of fun, and it just looks really good. This pin, this Pikachu Deadpool, is really sweet. Even though I'm not into the animation cells, this animation cell looks really good. And then this um, little uh, this button or badge, I guess, because it's like heavy, like a heavy metal actually. So this shield badge is it's not my thing because I don't watch uh, Agents of Shield or anything, but um, it's very good quality. It's very heavy, and if someone's into it. You can display it, you can wear it, whatever. So overall, this is a strong box. Um, probably one of the strongest boxes they've had in quite a while. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember any boxes that I would say are stronger than this. Of their pop culture, that is. I'm only comparing pop culture to pop culture, not to the horror. Because for me, it's a little unfair to, to you know cross-compare those because I like the horror so much more. So it's just what it is. Uh, anyway, I was just looking out, there's snowing out there. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. If you could for me, please just hit the subscribe. And if you want to know, whenever I put up a video, hit the notification bell. I should be doing some more videos. They'll mainly be horror related. So just know that. Uh, and then if you want to put some comments down here, we can talk about nerdy things. I'm always down for that. Like if you liked it and that would be nice, but please do the subscribe. It takes you literally like a second. It can mean a lot for my channel long term. And I appreciate that. Anyways, I thought maybe my cat was going to come get on video. Uh, But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.